Hello, this is Chaos Blue, and welcome back to Coral. We haven't been here in a while, have we? Hmm. Okay, so, we're going to the Golden Saucer, but before we do that, still nothing in the well. Um, there's something I need to address. Between last episode and this time, I spent some time doing this. When we left off, Aerith had just this. Now she has this, and Planet Protector. There's a reason I did this, which will... I'm not going to explain, but... If you know, then you know, and if you don't, then you'll figure it... You'll figure it out in a few episodes. Uh, but I do want to explain how I've done this, and what Fury Brand does. I guess, because you're... You saw this, it's just status alignments, and you're gonna see Planet Protector. Uh, basically, I spent about an hour in the Mithra Mines. And that is all there- that is sort of all there is to it. There are two good tricks to grinding, uh, limit breaks. If you need to get enemy kills, the Mithra Mines are perfect. Because there's an area where you will fight nothing but weak, four and five enemy encounters. Which you can just go through super quickly to ra rake in kills. For the ones where you need the limit breaks, though, it's a little bit more tricky. Uh, the best way to do it is actually to find powerful enemies that can't quite kill you and you can manipulate. Uh, you kill all but one enemy that you've manipulated, then you can just spam it. Uh, one attack. It'll deal a lot of damage, but it won't kill you. And you can control what happens, so it's really easy to build a limit break that way. I I did not do that. Well, I sort of did that. I totally used manipulate, but I did it with arc dragons, which was slower than it should have been because I didn't want to. I needed Aerith to have a lot of all of her limit breaks, basically, but I didn't want to affect Sid or Cloud or anyone else with the same thing. Like, I want them to be relatively natural with where they should be, without grinding limits. The only reason er I grinded limits with Aerith was because she's a special case. Uh... And that- and the best way to do that, without making Sid and Cloud a lot stronger at the same time, was to use a weaker enemy. Uh, pretty much. Having said that... Nor- Normally in a game, if I don't grind limits with Aerith, uh, I will only get to about here. Which, by the way, this fills up the limit breaks uh, meter for the other two party members to full. It is amazing. Uh, all of Aerith's limit breaks after here are amazing. Fury Brand fills up limit breaks, Planet Protector, well, you'll see. You'll see the what? Well, yeah. In any case, now that I've now that I've had that out of the way, let's go to the gold saucer. Oh hey, do I have enough money for the lifetime pass? I might. This would actually be a pretty good time to buy it. I don't remember if I need 30,000 or 300,000. <laughs> so, hoping it's 30. Well, let's just try. Uh, it is 30. Okay, I can, in fact, afford that. Uh, there goes all of my money, but. It'll save me- it'll save me money in the long run. Um, uh, just- well, it should be fine. I won't- I'm not gonna need to buy any weep-ons for a while, so... Let's see, I believe I want to go here. Welcome to Battle Square! Now... Dio's showroom, which is in Battle Square for some reason. 
It's the Keystone. And that is Dio. Yes, yes I do like it. Can I borrow it? Can I have it? Hmm, since you've been good to me in the past, I can let you have it on one condition! You must battle for my entertainment! Sure, why not? He didn't say I have to win, so... Just that I have to fight. Which is good, because I'm probably not gonna win. I haven't really set Cloud up for- Oh hey! Achievement get. I haven't been to the battle square before now. But yeah, I didn't set Cloud up for doing this, so... He is probably going to whiff on the... Fourth or fifth round? If I had to guess? I don't know. I mean, I could just stop right here, but... By the way, you can pause and the reel will still keep going. It's actually a... It's sort of a good trip. Okay, Poison is actually probably the single best one on there. Like, there's two of the... Two or three of the things on there are... You can... Are basically stage effects that you can cure. The rest of them are things you cannot get rid of, and are, therefore, really bad. The whole trick to beating the arena is basically knowing how the reel works, so that you can... Yeah, my accessory broken. Like, that's not good, right? But the whole trick to beating the arena is knowing how to game the, uh... Wait a second. I have enemy skill. I should be able to use frog song. Whatever. What was I saying? Right. Knowing how to game the reel is basically the whole trick to the arena. Okay, you know what? Screw you guys. We're going nuclear! And sort of hoping that gradual petrify wears off once they're gone. It did not! We have found the means of our doom. Gradual petrify. Okay, well, in order to make my prediction accurate, I'm gonna use beta again so that I actually make it to the fourth round. <laughs> that did not cut it. Oh well. I think he gives you something special if you get to the 8th round. I mean, I say something special. I think he gives you, like, an elixir or something if you make it to the 8th round. But it's, like, so not a big deal. Uh... Okay then. Wait a second. That's not right. Let's GDFO. Um, is it this one? It is this one. Wait, really? I can, uh... Oh? The tram's out of order! Are you sure this isn't just a scheme to make me spend more money at the Gold Saucer? Because I gotta tell you, I've already spent pretty much every guilt in my name to buy that lifetime pass. You! Get out of here, Katesy. No one likes you. No one likes you. Uh, I guess we'll go follow the stupid cat. Welcome to the Spooky Inn! 
Yeah, I guess not. Okay, yeah. You weren't here in the beginning, the middle, or the end. There was no point where you weren't here, Kate say see. I mean I guess there is about five minutes there in in the middle ish. But in fairness, Vincent probably Vincent and Sid probably don't know a lot of the story either. They could use it. What the hell is going on? Let's give it a shot. We're all going after Sephiroth. Because reasons. That's what the Shinra believe. I mean, once again, I do... Seriously, Barrett. I do think the Promised Land is probably a metaphorical Promised Land, like it's not a literal place. And all these people who think it's a literal place are fucking idiots! I mean, the Setra in the first place are basically... I mean, well, they're gone now, they've been wiped out. But culturally, they were nomads. So, it wouldn't make sense for them to have a promised land where they settle excuse me where they settle down for all time because reasons it would make a lot more sense if in their travels they find in their nomadic travels they find a place that is a metaphorical promised land in other words somewhere they can they're content basically but that's just my take on it in, in any case Wait, Black Materia? What's this about Black Materia? How many indeed? How indeed? Hojo put it on you. Hmm. That does seem possible. So actually, why are we going after Zephyroth? <laughs> uh, yeah. Also, I don't actually know. No, I don't think that's likely. For one thing, you're not human. For you are way too cool to go crazy. Plus also, you're like 40. <laughs> except for except for the vampire, you're the oldest one here. Actually, I'm not sure if that's true. Uh I don't remember how old Sid is. I know Vincent is definitely older than Red. Uh I think Sid is in the same age range as him, but he may be a little bit younger or a little bit older. Uh, yeah, so. Let us go. Oh, Sid fell asleep in the chair. <laughs> he don't care, he just wants an excuse to beat up on all those Chinra. Okay, this thing is really creepy. This thing right beside me. Like, it's sort of glowing. Hey, it's Aerith. I was sort of... I mean... Honestly, I would figure it would probably be Aerith. She's... If you aren't aiming for a specific person, she's the most likely one to get. And all that grinding I did with her... I don't know for sure if that would have actually impacted it. Because there's some battle stuff that can impact this, but but I can never remember what they actually are, so I don't know if I actually did any of them. In any case, you know that date I've been foreshadowing since practically the very beginning of this LP? 
Well, it is time. <laughs> there were no good answers there. The good, the correct answer was, of course, we were gonna have a date. You did, after all, promise me one. It, it was part of my payment. Sure, why not? Let's go for it. Congratulations! You are our 100th couple today! You two will play the leads in tonight's show. Oh, no, it's not that hard. Just play it however you want to, and the rest of the cast will cover for you. This sounds like fun. Let's do it! You cannot argue with that woman, Cloud. You should know this by now. Long, long ago, an evil shadow appeared over the peaceful kingdom of Galdia. Princess Rosa was kidnapped by the evil Dragon King, Valvados. King! King! <laughs> what will become of her? But then, the legendary hero, Cecil, appears! Oh, you must be the legendary hero. Hey, hey, it's your line. Ahem! Oh, you must be the legendary hero! By my soul, please, save Princess Rosa! Now, please talk! To the king. Pirouette! Oh, legendary hero. You have come to save my beloved daughter. On the peak of a dangerous mountain dwells the evil Dragon King, Velva King, who kidnapped Princess Rosa. But you can't beat the dr evil Dragon King now! Talk to one who can help you. Uh, can I? No. I can't select the king. Okay, so, who do I want to help me more? Do I want... It's gotta be the wizard, right? I am the Great Wizard! I don't remember the name of the old geezer in uh, Final Fantasy IV, sorry. Tesla, I think? Telga? It started with... It started with a Tel. What's going to happen next? Oh, the legendary hero. Look! EDK. What ho! You dare ignore the evil Dragon King? I am the evil Dragon King. Yeah, I can see your initials. I have not harmed the princess. Not very evil then, are you? I've been expecting you! Please help me, legendary hero! Who is your enemy? SAY IT! <laughs> Stop it, Cloud! What are you doing? The place is disaster! Now I'm getting mad! You can play that straight, but it's so much more satisfying when Aerith does that. <laughs> Two tickets! 
This gondola is working fine. Hmm. Ooh, that is a nice view. Look at that roller coaster. Uh, this goes right by that. Uh, those look like they probably overlap the same space. That cannot be safe. Yep. Oh! That's the Chocobo race? That's the Chocobo race. I've done that. Twice. It's not because I screwed up or anything, it's just because I wanted to. Right? You, you believe me, right? Yeah, sure. It looks nice. Actually, it really does look nice. And to think, this was made in 1997. Well, it was released in 1997. This looks really good for when it was made. Like, this, this was freaking amazing by the standards of the time. Oh? Who are you talking about? Who are you talking about? Yeah, I mean, of course I am, but also who? What an interesting thing to say. I wonder if the, you know, no. There are a lot of places in this game where where things are more ambiguous than they should be because of the translation. This is not one of them. Um, because that makes perfect sense to me because I understand the context behind it. Let's do it again indeed. Oh no, I love being with you, Aerith. After all, they don't call me. Uh, sell out fashionably late McLeod for nothing. Wait, no, none of those have anything to do with this, do they? Sell out fashionably late Gentleman McLeod? No, no, you know what? Just forget the name thing. I shouldn't have gone there. Next time we come, let's take our time and go on more rides. Oh, look at the time. We... we'd better get going. That's a Kate Seath. I hate you, Kate Seath! How convenient that you held it up for us. Also, what are you doing with that keystone? After him! Catch that bastard! He went into speed. You can't outrun me! <laughs> don't think I don't see you there. He went into Chocobo, right? I didn't actually see if it was Chocobo. Oh yeah, he did. No, I, 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 I backtracked. Well, well, he went in here anyway, so... I've got you now, Kate Seath! Oh, uh, I actually did almost have him. Uh, okay, that's a helicopter. Uh, that's... that's Sung. And he just threw the keystone to the Sung. Kate Seath, you are the worst. And now it's all starting to come together! Did you really trust him? Did you really? I feel I feel like you should have known better, Aerith. Then again. Then again, I may be holding you to too high to an unreasonably high standard here. I mean, 
frankly, I wouldn't expect most of the rest of the party to catch on. He is kind of terrible, though. How about... Yeah, so, turns out Casey is actually a robot. Or something. I mean, it's not really clear what he is, but in any case, he... He is... Remote controlled. Who? Who are you? Tell me! That was Aerith, not Cloud. W why not? I, I don't... Honestly, at this point, I don't see what you would have to lose by spilling the name. I mean, frankly, he's one of the most reasonable Shinra employees we've, we've yet met. <laughs> Ironically, despite Casey being terrible, him and the Turks are probably the most competent Shinra employees that, certainly that we've encountered. And that's including the big boss Shinra, pre uh, President Shinra himself. There's a lot of incompetent assholes in Shinra, is what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Indeed. Oh. It's Marlene. Oh, that's adorable, but also, uh, yeah. You're lucky I didn't take Barrett to the gate. Ba uh, well, actually, no. Barrett would not have shot you with Marlene on the right, uh, and he, mm -hmm. huh. You're lucky I didn't take Yuffie because she has no idea who Marlene is. I actually have no idea what the, th what the date with Yuffie is like. I've personally experienced both Tifa and Aerith, and I've never done Barrett's myself, but I've seen it on YouTube. But I've never seen Yuffies. Which makes a certain amount of sense to me, because she is, like, just a huge pain in the ass. Despite her starting off with more... Oh, hey, there's an elixir. Despite her starting off with more stuff, uh, more points than Barret, since the only good way to increase her points is by losing money and time by repeatedly re doing the recruit in sequence with her, eh, it's just a pain. And besides which, I think the date works out best with Aerith or Tifa anyway. What indeed? Oh yeah, about the Temple of the Ancients. We already went past it, I pointed it out a few episodes ago. So yeah, Aerith is coming with. We, we, we're sticking with this. Aerith is non-optional. I hate you. I just wanted you to know that. Yeah, it might be. I'm not bringing you either, Yuffie. You have not betrayed me like a certain, uh, like a certain feline over there. But, well... You did- actually, no, you did totally betray me. You stole all my materia, didn't you? Look, just- just stay- stay here for a while, okay? Uh, and the rest of you, watch th watch these two assholes. <laughs> okay. We're going. <laughs> On that note, uh, if I can find the- it's Station Square, right? 
Yes, it is. Okay. We are uh, going to leave off here. Join me next time when we enter the Temple of the Ancients. Until then, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VII with Chaos Blue, and have a great day. Bye!